Yes, yeah, Sean. Huh. Uh, Josh on? Well. But yes, you're right. <laughs> you're right. There are no kids. Right. Oh my gosh. So, so what, you don't mind me asking why we were just chatting here. What's your nationality? Uh, I'm black and white. Your dad. What is your dad? He's black. What? Well, that's a color. Yes, very true. Nationality. He did say nationality. All right. He's a Bayesian. Barbados. Oh, okay. Um, possibly tribe of... Let me see. Not Simeon, I would say. Uh, not Ephraim. So uh, he, so when he fills out a form, what does he put on his na- as his nationality? You know? I don't, um, to be brutally honest. Oh, okay. You don't have to shoot that. That's yeah. all. Well, not in person. Nevertheless, you would be from the tribes of Israel. I'm sure you know that. That's what I ask. So what do you, what tribes do you associate yourself uh, with? You know, I knew my tribe too. I don't know. Any. Would it be, I don't think it's Asher. No, not Asher? I think so. You think it's I think Asher? So. I think it's Asher too because you're not Ephraim, so you're not Simeon, and you're not um, Levi. So mm-hmm. I'm thinking it's Asher. I believe so. Yes. Well, I would be from the tribe of Gad, the original natives of this land. Yeah, yes, I am. Yeah. And uh, wow, the Most High always send me to places to speak. Like I said, I don't have to explain all since you know everything. I mean, I, I'm, that's a blessing. Well, my name is Shabal Yasharala. That means broken spirit in Hebrew. Like I said, I can trace my heritage all the way back to the tribe of Gad, the original natives of this land. And I could see things since I was 13 years old. Yeah. And I left and I went running to the military thinking I can run from these things. And uh, uh, you cannot I run. That too. You know, like, you know, Jonah and the whale. Well, so, yeah. the running. Military thing. Was it? It, it went against a lot of my beliefs, so I just like it's either, and I know why I was doing it. I was doing it for my family, right? But then I, I realized, and I said, "Well, at what cost? What am I sacrificing? And what am I doing for this? And what do I benefit from it?" Right. And it was too many cons rather than both. <laughs> well, you know, you know that's uh, even part of the curses. You know, we just serve our enemies. So that's how I looked at it, and I got punished for that. I, you know, I think I was running for one thing, and I was, um, you know, thinking I could travel, which you could, you could, you know, tra- travel and all that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. A lot of free stuff going on, but mainly just um, didn't want to see. So at the age of 18, I said, no, stop showing me this stuff, you know. But so, but he didn't. So he, in 98, he filled a burst of light into my body. In 2006, he took me to hell and back. In 2008, he showed me a vision concerning this place. Keep in mind, you have to see since I was 13. And this one really said, okay, you cannot run no more. So April 17, 2008, at 2 o'clock at night, the one that they called Jesus Christ, well, I call him Yeshaya, and, you know, his father, Ahaya. All right? Um, he shook my whole house. He said, enough is enough. I didn't want to hear it, so I put the pillow over my head. It's still running. So in about 15 minutes of my sleep, I was awakened. And I was transformed from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. I was made new. And I was descending down into a building. That building had a window in it about 60 feet across. And I could see people walking through that window every day. So it wasn't days of Noah. And I walked past the brown table that had white flowers on it. The heavens rolled back at the scrolls. The Bible states. He began to speak. He said, enough is enough. I said, when I looked up, and he said, Chicago would be the first to fall. And I saw a mist. And it obliterated Chicago. Do you know what's happening every day in Chicago? Yeah. You know? They call it Chirac because it's worse than Iraq. You've heard that. Yes, yes you have. All right. Yeah, so he showed me this almost 10 years ago. And the time is at hand. He said Chicago would be the first to fall. Uh, and because of the murders. And not only that, when the pilgrims came here, the first one of the first places that they brought religion was to Chicago. So the Bible defines religion according to James, James 1, 2, 7. He came back years later and he said... Jamestown, Virginia will be the last standing. You know what happened at Jamestown, Virginia? The Pilgrims. The Pilgrims, you know, the first colony? Okay. All right, so they start slaughtering my tribe all the way from Jamestown, Virginia to this place. After Columbus hits, this place is called what? Columbus mm. after Columbus, right? Mm. You see, mm. that, see that? Yes, mm. exactly. So, uh, and you know, my tribe, we were over here chanting, Ahaya, Ahaya, because that's God's name in the Hebrew. Like I said, and his son's name is Yeshaya. So he said, this place will be up in smoke by 2019. It's going to happen like a day just like this. 
I have seen the missile enter uh, the atmosphere. I've seen everything from Hurricane Irma to what hit Texas to up to this point. So I paid for it with my life and I'm doing what I've been called to do. And so we have to repent because the time is really short here. You're looking at an 11 month window, all right? They tried to kill me on 85 Highway uh, about seven months ago, almost eight months ago. So I got a slight stutter. If you see me pausing, it's okay. nerve damage to my head. So, uh, and a bright light filled the car and slowed the impact down, saved me and my child's life. Like 100 and 150 miles per hour. I've seen the one that they call Jesus Christ. He looks like Lamont Stanford with a white fro, like the Bible describes him in the book of Revelation, in the book of Daniel, and you know, the book of Daniel describes his father. I've heard the one that they call God. I heard his voice, but I've never seen him. He said he's getting ready to wipe a lot of people out. You understand me? And guess who's gonna strike Chicago? He showed me this, Russia. You see what's going on with Russia? We got something going on with Korea too. Oh, they're coming too, sons of Javits. So, you know, he said, don't fear about these things because he's gonna Jacob has to go through the fire but he said thy kingdom come as it is in heaven where on earth Amen. the kingdom is coming here that's why you know all of the fighting going on so do you use YouTube uh, I do you I do, do. When, when I happen to have the chance yeah. okay I deal with GLCC you ever heard of them uh, no I haven't I got them to Christ Church I've gained them over 40 some over 40 something thousand followers worldwide but they got a problem with me because the most I chose a woman this time but it's all up and down in the Bible that he uses women the first yes, you know Miriam Anna and Deborah the first woman when Christ rose revealed himself it was what uh, to a woman Mary Magdalene so uh, you look up GOCC and you look up messenger for heaven or Chicago prophecy and um, Get all the information you need. I think your tribe Asher, if I'm not mistaken. GOCC? Yes. GOCC. I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm glad you're writing it down. Cause yeah, I, I love taking notes. Gotcha. And um, you type in Chicago Prophecy, and that's me. All right, so blessed are the readers and the hearers of his word. I'm Shabar Yasharala, but most of all, the doers of his word. I always ask this question to see if you were paying attention. What city did I say they were going to bomb first? Chicago. All right, what's the last place standing? Uh, last place standing? Uh, They're going to bomb last. Yeah. Not everybody thinks it's here, but it's not here. Yeah. Yes, yes. All right. I was close. You were close. You were, you were listening. I, listening. I always do that. Because your blood is not going to be on my hands after yeah, it's said blood. and done. All right? Chicago will be the first of all, Jamestown, Virginia, the last standing. I'm going to show you, uh, and thank you for having a year. It had a humble spirit. I knew right away he sent me up here to speak to you. I knew it. That's Chicago prophecy right there. It will be the first of all, you click on my name, I'm messenger mm -hmm. for heaven. Because okay. I got a message, don't I? Yes, <laughs> all right. Yes, um, yeah, so this is what I do. And I ask the most high every time I go out, you know, where he wants me to go. And I talk to the vessel that I that he sends me to. So that's what I do. You got it. <laughs> this is a turning point for you today. What I've seen, it's hard not to believe. And I guess people people would be like, you know, uh, you seen all of this? Why are you running? Because I'm a sinner. You know, we've all sinned. That's right. Look, short, long, sideways. <laughs> I have. I just didn't, you know, didn't feel worthy to a certain degree. But Paul tells us we have to walk worthy in what we've called to do. That's why he sent his son to do that. So I'm, I'm walking worthy, and day by day, the window was getting smaller and smaller and smaller. What do you think about that? You know, it's going to happen on a daylight, just like this, the sun shining and everything. Uh, Other than in the days of Noah. What do I think? That's a very good question, but to be, for me to honestly answer, um, I think what's meant to happen just simply will happen. I don't fear it because uh, that's what I'm looking for. I have no fear. I have no reason to fear, it. and I know that I, I live my, my life right, or as as right as I can live it. And you know, the only thing we can do is that and strive to be perfect or perfection. You that's know what right. I mean? So, I tell you what I think. Just, just a little bit. I think a lot of people was gonna get, are going to get caught off guard. Oh yeah. That's 
foot. A lot? A lot? Yes. More. Yes. More. Yes. More. yes. It's gonna be more. I and off guard, I don't even think that's a good word. They're just gonna be uh, through. In awe. Yeah. Absolutely in awe. Yes. Yes. And uh, because he showed me the day what I was gonna be doing and everything, and I saw it. This is recent, recently, yeah. like maybe four or five months ago, when the bomb was entering the atmosphere. So where's this bomb coming from? Is it coming from Russia? Yes, it is. And in the vision, I, I seen them come up out of the water. They were coming up out of the water, and then I saw the sons of Japheth, or what you would call the Chinese, come here. He said they're gonna come, and you, as you can see. Donald Trump is beefing with everybody. Korea, Whoa. Russia. And that's because they know what's getting ready to happen. Yeah. Do you believe in destiny? Do you believe that things were meant to happen? Do you believe that that we have um, Oops. Do you think we have power to say that supposedly we're meant to happen? Yeah, because the most I say time and chance happen happen to us all, and there's nothing new under the sun according to the book of uh, Ecclesiastes. So yes, you can change it because uh, that's why he sent prophets and prophetess to tell people to repent and make a change. And if they don't, then that path is already, you know, so, predestined. Yeah. Exactly. So yes. So what is that going to do? With the hmm? What is that to do with the Sabbath? Um, I make clothes like this. Yeah. I made our clothes. And everything, and like I said, see, see what I deal with. I, I go to the machine to get a little bit of frustration, and I can take out on it. <laughs> I'm not mad at you at all. Yeah, so that's what I do. I actually, I like, I, they have nice African hair, but I've been looking for African print because I'm from New York. I can tell. I can get a the lot, accent. lot of African fabric, but out here, you'd have to go to like Atlanta. You do. Usually, sometimes I go to different stores and. Um, I um shop online. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I, I stayed uh for a while uh in the Bronx and Albany. Okay. Uh I traveled there before. Uh but you're right. Uh it's hard but what, what do they call you for for your nickname, Sean? John. <laughs> okay, Sean. Well, you know, that's the point. You know, we're not African, so you know, maybe Hebrew, you know, sounds a little, I mean, it's, 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 it's more accurate there, but with GOCC, they have, uh, we have different websites that you can buy clothes from as well. Okay. Yep, we're definitely on a rocky road here. Well, it's getting ready to happen. Yeah. Uh, I don't, maybe it's bad, maybe it's not bad, I don't, but I, I, don't, I don't really think about it too much. I don't think it's so, if you know it's going to happen. So why just dwell on it? Well, because you know, I'm 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 concerned with people not changing. When you've been to hell and hell and back, and the demons was tearing at my flesh, I I, I will not uh, condone that for anybody to go through it. Well, I haven't been there, or or I haven't seen that perspective, so I can't I can't really you know. Yes, they were tear they were uh, tearing at my flesh. They were uh, shadow. You ever heard people say shadow people before? Yeah. They were spirits like that, and they had yellow eyes, and they were tearing at my flesh. Yeah. Yes, so if people knew what was uh, going to happen, I think they would change, but that's the whole purpose of him warning, because he knows people are not going to change. And um, I don't know if you know the story of, uh, uh, not the story, but this parable, which is meant to take literally about the, uh, the rich man going to hell and Luke the 16th or 17th chapter. Mm -hmm. um, you know what uh, the Most High told him? He was like, well, his, well the one they called Christ, told him, he was like, can I just go warn my brothers to not come to this place? And he said, you know what, your brothers have the book of Moses and the prophets. Uh, they don't even believe them. And he said, why would they believe you? Isn't that something? But he was like, well, I'm coming back from the dead to tell them. They didn't even believe that. <laughs> I think that's what we're alive to the problem or issue is that it's not about, you know, getting people to believe. Because you will have some. Yes. But you'll also have people that are just very gung-ho on seeing. Because unfortunately, right. people don't walk by faith, they walk by sight. Right, right. So, 
Right, right. You're right about that. But you, by the time they realize it, it's, it's too late. You're right. But you know, he recently, um, I had to pray and I asked him to show me so I could feel, you know, that I didn't, I've done my job to the fullest. And a recent survey or poll came out and stated that altogether Chicago has lost about 13,000 people moving out and 30,000 in different areas. That's a blessing because the way I was uh, thinking, nobody's listening. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Remember, because Lot, only eight, and with Noah, only eight people survived. And Abraham, before he just, um, destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. He said, will you save it for 10 people? Will you serve it for 20? He started at around 50. Mm -hmm. And he was like, if I could find 10 people, I would save the city. But the most I said is over. But that's 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 a lot of people that just, you know, eight people yeah. that make it out of there. So I, I, I'm relieved. That's how, that's how I know it's this close. It's right here. It's right here. He showed me a huge clock in the sky and the clock had stopped. One on earth and one in the heavens. That's, it's over. It's over. Who, who, whoever's up there now, you know, may the most high have mercy on Because it's over. It's over. So that's, I mean, I'm, com I'm comfortable now, now knowing that, hey, my voice, my voice reached Chicago. The thing is, he told me that, yes, he told me that it would, you know, but the thing is, um, uh, I wanted to go there personally and speak. But he told me no because the Nephilim spirits are ruling that city. You know about the Nephilim, right? No. The giants, okay. half angel, the book of Genesis. Okay. Yes, half angel, half uh, blood. He said they're ruling principalities in high places. Hebrews, that's the book of Hebrews, the sixth chapter. So he said, no, I'm not sending you up there because those is covered with Nephilim, demonic spirits. You, people are dying like rain dropping from the sky up there. Is that I think right? I'm good at uh, I may not see things, but I see energy all the time. Um, that's one thing I can read. I read people's energy. Um, but I think that's a, I think that's a thing of uh, Maybe I'm wrong, but I think it's an intuition. Um, he will let you see, yeah. you know, because Elijah, uh, he wanted to. This, I think, this is, yeah, this is the last one. Okay. Elijah wanted to. Uh, it was I forgot the individual that was with him. And the Most High opened up his eyes, and the individual that was with him and showed him angels around him. So there are people, but he has to open your eyes to see it. That's the point I'm trying to make. Look, I've, 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 I actually had an experience. This is a good experience. You're not gonna touch it. But, uh, I actually had one where I saw cubes, or colors around people. Yeah. I kind of was freaking out, and I just sat in the corner mm. and was like. What's going on? Like, this is weird. Like, I lit and it was, it was bright as day. Like, I could literally see the cube. And I told my friend, and I was like, You're crazy. I'm like, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I see. I've, I've seen, seen that before, too. It happened about maybe six or seven years ago. I was still in college, and I've seen it. You're right. It's there. It's energy, like you said. It's kind of overwhelming, you know? Well, it's there to wake some people up. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know what it, it put me on to something. I was like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Never have I ever. Because you know what? People need to realize that this is not it afterwards. No. We, this is not it. That energy that's dwelling in you now, it goes on. Yeah, yeah. It goes on. That's why I always say, life ever lasts. You got that right. And you know what? And that, however that life is lasting, is going to be either what? Eternal or damnation. You can live forever, but <laughs> you know, that's that's the point. I choose to live it. Exactly. Exactly. And I look at some people and I'm like, how can you how can you be bold? But we have to understand the first male spirit, the first spirit to rebel was a male spirit. And I'm like, the audacity of these people thinking they're gonna fight against Christ mm -hmm. when he come back. And he, listen, he's on his way back. He showed me. He's on his way back. And I'm like, they building all these energies, energy weapons and all of that. I've seen them. The laser, thinking they're going to destroy an eternal spirit. Supposedly, they got camps too. With these concentration camps. Yes, concentration camps. Like, uh, in like Las Vegas, uh, Atlanta. I don't know. Different places. Uh, you're right. You know what? There's nothing that I, I wish that I won't believe. 
Anything's possible. In any spectrum or realm of, of, of life. You know what I'm saying? He makes it possible. Very true. That's why I also feel as if surely that I believe very strongly in manifestation. I manifest a lot of things in my life. But as they say, faith without works is dead. That's right. It's also, it applies with the manifestation. Manifestation means nothing if you're not taking the action to get the result. That's right. So now, and then it goes into, oh, I'll go into, you know, made in his image. Now, I don't know if you ever heard this, but uh, there's a saying that goes, search for God and I found myself. And I searched for myself and I found God. Mm -hmm. God, God is within all. That's right. So, now my, my personal, my personal interpretation of that is, I am him and he is me. To a certain degree. To a certain degree, of course. Mm -hmm. But we are a flesh. We are both spirit and flesh. We are, because we were made eternal first. And the book of uh, Ezra says that we were made to be eternal first until, until some angel had to step out of line. Yeah. And he took one third of them with him. Mm -hmm. So we'll get all that um, embodiment.